G'day guys, how are you? And welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to teach you how you can validate an email address using C Sharp. So let's begin. So before we get started, what I've just quickly done is I've opened up a console application and now we're good to go. So let's begin. So the very first thing I'm going to do in this case is I'm just going to create a small program where what it's going to do is it's just going to simply um, it's going to manage the email addresses. So for example, we're going to be able to add an email address to the list if that email does not exist. Um, and we're also going to add the email address to the list as long as it's a valid email address. So let's begin. So I'm going to type in our class and it's going to say email list. And within there, I'm going to make a private uh, list and it's going to be a string because it's going to be an email list. And I'll just put here email list. And we're going to get and set. And then I'll go public email list. And then once that is created, the constructor, I'm going to say email list equals new list. And there's an email list there. So now I'm going to quickly do is I'm just going to create a bool, I'm going to private. Well, I'm going to say here validate or valid email address. Okay, and I'll go string email. And so within here, we're going to go try. And we're going to go system uh, .net .mail .mail address mail address equals new system .net .mail .mail address. And within there, we're going to put the address. And we should probably change it to mail address. I was saying mail address, but just, yeah. I had a few to drink last night. <laughs> okay, and then now because it's a boolean, if, it is, is, if it's able to successfully create that, um, that mail uh, address, we simply just want to return the mail address dot address email. So what this is, is basically a boolean. We've turned it into a boolean. So if this mail address happens to equal the email, which we originally created, then it's going to return true because it's what it equals. However, if it doesn't um, equal that, then this means that this particular um, object here was unable to be created. And if that is the case, because it's not a valid email address, we will just return false. Okay, so this is pretty much how you validate an email. You can go right into it and like do registry, um, sorry, regex and all that sort of stuff. Um, but for the, most people, this will usually do the trick. Um, but yeah, you can get right into it down to the dot if you really wanted to. Now just for our problem to finish it off, we're just gonna create a private a bool and we'll just type in here duplicate email address. And within there, we'll just simply return this dot email list dot any and if anything happens to equal the email, then yeah, it will return over a true or return a false if there's no duplicate email. Now because this is a private and I don't want to give the user or the end user, I guess in some cases, too much control of this particular email list, I thought it doesn't really matter. In this case, I'll just create our own um, add method. So I'll just go public void um, add new oops, email address. And then yeah, once again, the parameter will be the email. And then we'll just say uh, if it's a valid email address. So if it's a valid email address, and then if it's not a duplicate email address, um, then this dot email list dot add the email, and then we could just do a console write line string of format. We can say um, such and such has been added to the system and then if it is a duplicate email then we'll just do an else here and we'll just do string or format again such and such is already in the system and then if it's not a valid email address we can go to our else statement down here Right, once again, string.format um, isn't such and such isn't a valid email address. Cool. All right, that looks about right. So, yeah, this will pretty much do, I guess, for our problem of cookie created. So, I'll just create the static um, email list email list equals new email list is there and then so within there we'll just say um, while true just so we can repeat the program over and over again just so you guys can get an understanding console write line 
enter your email address. Read the line. And then we'll just write here um, email list dot add new email email. So that will hopefully add it. And then we'll do a space here. And then we'll do some lines. And this will be where we're going to show all our emails. So what we'll do to show our emails, we'll use an enumerator. So let's go here public I am enumerable. Strings. What this does is this is like doing a loop, um, but it, instead of creating a list first, it just returns them one by one as it gets them. It doesn't actually create a list first and return the list, so it's a, it's a lot faster. So I'll just go here, show all emails, and I'll go get here, and then for each string email in email list um, yield return email. That should do it. So now I can come here and go for each string. Oops, uh, email's already there. I'll just go e in email list dot show all emails. Console the right line e. Probably shouldn't use these since it's already dedicated in some ways when creating a event. And then we'll just do a read line again. Put some of these there. That should be enough. And then we'll just go console.read key. And then once I've read the key, we'll just clear it so we don't get duplicates of what's already on the screen. So that should hopefully do it. So let's press F5 and see what we get. First time debugging, fingers crossed it works. If not, I'll be editing in the. <laughs> Alright, so into email address. Alright, look at that. Android has been added to the system, so we know that it was a valid email address. Fantastic. So let's just write something. Jobbers. And look at that, so something slayed if you don't know, uh, isn't a valid email address. So there we go. And then we've already got the email address that's already in the system. So that's cool. Now I'll try and add my email address again. And it's been added only because I've got an uppercase O here and this one's got a lowercase. So that's what I was saying before. When you get, you can get right into this and use a registry edit. And um, I mean, you can do some really cool things with that. As you know, if you definitely check out the, um, sorry, regex it's called. Definitely check that out, you can do some really cool things. But as you can see there, I've already got that email address in the system. So if I do it again, it'll say that it's already in the system and it's just showing me the list of what's already there. Um, if you type in gibberish, then yeah, it's not a valid email address. If you type in another email address altogether, that's Gmail, I don't know. This is probably someone's email address, hey. Um, Harry's now been added to the list and you can see that there he is there. So there you go guys, this is a quick video on how you can validate an email address. Um, what I would probably recommend doing is Say for example, most email addresses they are going to be lowercase, um, nine times out of ten. I've got the capital O there, so what you could probably do um, when you are getting your email address there is we could say, all right, well we've got our string there, and it's going to be read line. Um, I don't know if you can go here to to lower, perhaps. Will that work? It will work. So we can probably do to lower there. So that will put everything to lowercase because yeah, most of the time I don't think capitals really matter when it comes to email addresses. So even if I was to put this in. Um, well, that's not valid anyways, but as you can see, it's, it's done it straight away. It's put it all to lowercase there. So, um, you know, even if I was to say, all right, well, androidably at outlook.com, that's been added. And then I go once again, androidably, that's my name, with capital O again, outlook.com. Uh, it'll always say it's already in the system because it's converted it to a lower case. So there's a quick way to get around that issue, I guess. Um, but there you go, guys. Um, this is a quick video on how you can validate an email address. I suppose how you can add that email address to a list if you really wanted to. And then how you can yeah loop through that list a lot quicker using Enumerable. Um, if you did have this list and you wanted to have sort of reserved emails, then you could certainly add those emails to that list prior to the program, or you know, you could have it search through a particular database for email list emails, sorry, that are already within that database that are added. So if I just put this here, and if I was to type in com, you could theoretically say that this is a reserved, or you could create two lists. You could create an email list, and then you could create a reserved email list, and then you could, you know, cross match them, I guess, in some sense. But you could certainly add the um, email first before it's added. This will come up and say that such and such has been added. And then you could, yeah, um, go from there. So if I was to put this in just like this, it'll probably say you, you cannot do it because it's already in the system. See? So there we go. So there you guys, once again, once again uh, thank you very much. Uh, do subscribe if you haven't. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.